In this video, I will talk about four different types of treatments for floaters. To give you the most up-to-date information, I reviewed the latest clinical research as well as records of 1,000 of our patients who had floaters. For each treatment, I will review its effectiveness, how well it is supported by clinical research and by my 25 years of experience. After that, I will shed light on which you might want to choose based on your unique situation. I will also reveal to you a very important lesson on floaters. Stick around till the end because floaters can sometimes be a sign of a much bigger and a potentially dangerous problem. And I will explain that as well. Hi, I'm Dr. Ilan Cohen, a board certified ophthalmologist with 25 years of experience to enhance your eyes and your vision. Floaters are those annoying lines and spots in your vision that are driving you crazy. Hey, you're not alone. I have floaters myself. In fact, most people have some degree of floaters. I will start with a supplement that's been clinically shown to be effective in reducing the symptoms of floaters. The FLIES study was a major clinical trial that investigated the effects of a particular supplement containing a combination of ingredients, including lysine, vitamin C, a grape and a citrus extract, and zinc. I'll show you the actual supplement in a minute. This study found that a significant portion of participants taking these supplements once a day over a course of six months experienced improvement in their floaters and overall vision quality. More specifically, 77% of patients on the active supplement experienced a reduction in the floaters and so improvement in their vision-related quality of life. The study also showed significant improvements in objective parameters like vitreous opacity, density, and contrast sensitivity. Now, it's important to note that this was just one study and more research is needed, but focusing on a healthy diet rich in fruits and vegetables certainly couldn't hurt. The exact product used in this study called VitroCap. There is a link below of it, the ingredients. If you're in a doubt about which solution is best for you, just stick around. I will do this analysis of which type of treatment might be the best for you in a little bit. Before we continue, I would love to know to what degree the folders are bothering you. Please just put it in the comment section below. If you don't have the patience to wait for six months, how about an eye drop that can reduce the symptoms of floaters immediately? We're talking about diluted atropine drops, a medication sometimes used for eye exams. Here's the surprising thing. Because these drops dilate your pupil, they can also make floaters appear less noticeable. Normally, floaters cast tiny shadows on your retina as light passes through the eye. But with the dilated pupil, the light enters from a wider angle, minimizing those shadows and potentially making floaters seem more faint. While interesting, diluted atropine is a relatively new approach for floaters and more research is needed to determine its long-term effectiveness and safety. Also, diluted atropine could only be obtained through compounding pharmacies by a specific instruction from your doctor. Keep watching, I will show you a basic guideline on how to choose a treatment that's best suited for you shortly. Okay, if supplements and drops are not for you, how about an in-office laser treatment? Vitriolysis is an in-office procedure where we use a laser to literally zap those floaters. The laser beam breaks them down into smaller pieces and removes them from your field of view. Vitriolysis can be very effective for floaters, but while it is generally safe, there are potential side effects like cataract, retinal detachment, and bleeding in the eye, although they are relatively rare. Also, in some cases, the procedure may not remove all the floaters, and new ones might develop over time. If for some reason laser is not for you, and you're seeking a more robust solution, and you're still miserable with your symptoms, you can consider the next option. All right, we've covered supplements, atropine drops, and lasers. But what if those floaters are just relentless and they are seriously impacting your vision and making you miserable? Well, there is a more definitive answer, vitrectomy surgery. A vitrectomy is a surgical procedure where the surgeon removes the vitreous, 
the jelly-like substance that fills your eye along with the floaters. You can think of it as a deep cleanse for the inside of your eye. Vitrectomy can be very effective in removing floaters, but it is a major surgery reserved for severe cases. It is a more invasive procedure with a longer recovery time and carries risks like infection, bleeding, cataract formation, or retinal detachment. So vitrectomy is a serious decision. If you choose to do this, you need to make sure that the doctor that you're choosing is very experienced with this type of surgery. The most appropriate surgeon would be a retina specialist that has performed at least hundreds of these vitrectomies. It's crucial to discuss the potential benefits and risks with your own eye doctor to determine if this is the right course of action for you. So as promised, I will now discuss which of these solutions is the best for you. I like to group floaters into three groups of mild, moderate, and severe. If your floaters are mild and they're not causing you to pull out your hair yet, and you're willing to wait a few months for potential resolution, supplements are the easiest way to go. If you want immediate effect, you can try the diluted atropine drops but you should know that the effects are temporary and last as long as you're using the drops. By the way, there is no contraindication to using the drops along with the supplements. So you can get the short-term benefits of the drops and the potential longer-term benefits of the supplements. For those of you who are more interested in a quick solution and who would have moderate to severe floaters, the laser vitriolysis would be an excellent option but it does come with some small risks as well. If you're okay with that, you should talk to your eye doctor about it. And for those people with severe floaters that are driving them crazy and they cannot tolerate it any longer, a surgical vitrectomy would be the best option. It is the most invasive option that carries more risk, but also the option that delivers the best results. As I said earlier, floaters could be a sign of a much more serious problem. If you've had a very recent and sudden onset of floaters, you should definitely have your eyes checked by a professional, especially if the floaters were accompanied by flashes of light. That could be a sign of retinal detachment, which is considered an emergency. Let me finish by saying that in my 25 years of experience, I find that more than 99% of floaters don't require any treatment but people get used to it with time. As I said before, I have floaters myself and I didn't treat it. A significant part of our growth as humans depends on our ability to embrace the imperfect. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos like this and hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to see them in the comment section below. Thank you.